is already starting so funny. I'm sitting here and eating my Nutella cookie. <laughs> what should I eat? <laughs> Hello, Leute. Hi, everyone, and welcome to this video with my <laughs> dear friend Caro mm -hmm. from South Africa. We met in the US when we were both au pairs, and she's visiting me here in Germany. And we thought it might be funny if we did a challenge. We just have here some nice snacks and I still have some American candies and we're just enjoying them so much. So let's do this. <laughs> Let me explain it. So I... <laughs> I'll just say that. So I... <laughs> this video I can already say it's gonna be such a chaos. <laughs> So I thought of some words that she has to guess because her mother tongue is Afrikaans, but she speaks English fluently. And, <laughs> Most of the time, yeah. yes. And she's um, learning German, but she can already speak German really well. But we thought it's funny if I would show her some German words and she has to guess the meaning. I don't know the words at yes. all, so yeah. Hopefully not. Yeah, hope yeah, I've never seen these words before, like now. Yeah. I've never. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Gosh. <laughs> Do you want to say anything else about yourself? My German is still very in the beginning stages, that's all I can say. So the first word is Amdusha. <laughs> is it one word? Yes. Like a warm shower. Kind of, but it's Vam <laughs> Dusha. <laughs> so not Dusha, Dusha. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You okay. said kind of, so it's kind of like a warm yeah, it's, shower. Yeah, it's in the right direction. I d just think of like warm douche would be what you just said. Yeah. Warm douche is oh, that's so difficult. I don't know, like the person taking a warm shower. Yeah. Wirklich. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it's so basically funny. it's basically meaning like a warm showerer. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So good job. Okay. Yeah, super. Okay. So the next one you might know this. Okay. So I'm not sure, but it's um, called Fernweh. Oh, okay. I do know this. It's when you're feeling like homesickness or you're missing a place of home, like your home or something like that. Um, or like you're... Oh. You're not missing home. You're missing the opposite. Oh, you're missing a place that is not your home. Yes, you're missing okay. like something that's far away. Like, yeah. you know, you just want to explore, you just want to travel. It's craving to travel. It's like wanderlust. Yeah. Basically. So the third one is schnapps idee. That's like um, it's like a um, a sudden thought mm -mm. or something. Mm -hmm. like. It comes close, but or like a, is, a close idea. No, it or is like, something with a thought or idea, but schnapps idee like schnapps is like. <laughs> you know what schnapps is? Yeah, the alcohol schnapps. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that. What Fine. is it if something is a schnapps idee? A good idea. <laughs> a bad Isn't idea. That a good idea? <laughs> a bright idea at night, classic mm -mm. No, you you kind of said like a bad idea, and I would say yeah, it's like a bad idea. It's a dumb idea. It's oh, like, yeah. Oh, okay. Like, that's a that's a schnapps idea. Like, no, oh. let's not do that. It doesn't sound like it should be a bad word, though. It sounds yeah. like it should be like a good word. No. You yes. just have a random screw in your. <laughs> well, it's supposed to it's like to be. Oh, you know. it's for the fairy light. Okay, never mind. So the next word is Schadenfreude. Okay, that is. Do you wait, know that? No, no. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna try. Schadenfreude. That is. I, I love how I, I'm feeling so confident in saying this, and I'm like, no. I'm <laughs> thinking that it is when someone. When someone. Someone. <laughs> <laughs> when something embarrassing happens to someone else, and you feel good about it, or yeah. you feel like. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> because it's like. Where I've heard this before, I've heard this word. We don't have something like that in Afrikaans, I think. I don't even know what it is in English. No, I don't think there's a specific one word for like, it. But it's like literally, it is feeling good when someone else, like something happens to them yeah. bad. Like, like, or, like, or something embarrassing happens to someone else. Yeah, it, like, It's not a good thing, of course, but we all have experienced that some or other time. In yeah, some form. I think there is an English word. Um, I can look it up. Let's see. Yeah. I don't think there's one word. Maybe like a sentence to explain it, of course. Gloating. No, but gloating is not the same. Like gloating malicious is like malicious joy. Oh yeah, that might be. It can malicious joy. Yeah. Okay. 
I think that describes it pretty well. Yeah. In Afrikaans, we would say, <laughs> Ek krij lekker. As, <laughs> Ek krij lekker. Yeah. Rrr, good. <laughs> Ek krij lekker. <laughs> I should learn Afrikaans. Why? <laughs> we literally speak it in South Africa and like Namibia. Well, really, then maybe. I can we talk with you in your mother, mother tongue. That's always cool. Let's learn a different language, you know, Italian. Yeah. Well, maybe. I want to learn Dutch anyway. The next word is called Purzelbaum. You might know that though. Nein. Nice. Okay. Let's go. Say it one more time, please. Purzelbaum. It's like something that you clean with. Mm -mm. No, no, no. I, I heard Putzel. No, but Purzelbaum. That is difficult. Okay, just take them like it's Purzelbaum. What is Baum? Oh, Baum. It's like Baum is like also like a, a um, salve in Afrikaans. Or like um, a bomb. No, bomb, not bomb. Oh, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> I heard bomb. No. Bomb. Bomb, yeah. Oh, like tree. Yeah. Okay. But it doesn't have. I can already tell you, it doesn't have to do anything with the tree. tree. <laughs> um, What's a bomb? Is it an object or is it just a word describing something? And uh, no, it's an activity. But you oh, do it. okay. Oh, like okay. for example, children do it. Is it building a puzzle? No. <laughs> you know I had to think about that. I was like, no. Okay, but you say it's an activity kids do. I can also do it, but you can also do it. Is it coloring? Adult. <laughs> no, that's is Marlin. Um, why? That sounds like a puzzle it to me. But it's not. No, it's it's like a sporty. A sporty thing. thing. Yeah, a sporty thing. Like. Goodness. Like it's not uh, soccer. It's not hockey. It's not. No, no, no. Okay, I'm just gonna tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. So it's basically like rolling on the floor, making like a roll on the floor. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the English word for that is, but you want, uh, like, let me <laughs> let me look it up. Okay. Summersault. Oh, it's Summer that a somersault. Okay, yeah, I know that word. I just forgot it. But do you want to know the Afrikaans word? Yeah, please. <laughs> In Afrikaans, we would say bomelakisi. Bomelakisi. <laughs> 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 It sounds Russian. Then, I think there's probably like a high Afrikaans like proper word for it. <laughs> the next word is oavum. An earworm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what does that mean? It's because it is not a, an actual earworm. Or like, it's when you have a worm in your ear. Right? <laughs> um, exactly not. I don't know. When you cannot hear properly or like when you're not listening properly or mm -hmm. like... That. I'm giving you a hint. It has to do with music. It's when you're me, um, um, <laughs> when you're tone deaf. What? No. <laughs> when you're very musically talented. No. It's to do with music, and yeah. it is. It does physically translate to earworm. Yeah. <laughs> does it have anything to do with ears? Yeah, kind. Of, well, you listen to music, right? Yeah. So that has to do with your ears, but the actual word, not really. <laughs> It has to do with your head, with your mind. Also, like, think of it if you listen to music a lot. And maybe to a, a specific song a lot. You get, like, tired of that song, though. Or, like, you, you it's stuck in your head. Yes! Oh, really? It's stuck in your head. I'm trying to think if we have that Afrikaans. Uer verum. Yeah, maybe. Uer verum. Uer I can't I know that uer is very Because, like, for us, we say rrr, like, right here in the front. And, like, the Americans would say rrr. But then the Germans say it more like a uh, a lot of Which the times the, uh, in um, German, the yeah, German uh, R. It's like really like here, somewhere here. I can't even. And that's that's uh, so difficult to me. Uh, like, but um, you know, like we don't say. Uh, no, say, no, I know that. Yeah. It's not so like, you know, um, yeah. what's the word? Um, it's not so. <laughs> it's not so. <laughs> <laughs> it's not so like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. What is the word? It's not. Right on my tongue. Um, it is not that <laughs> 50 hours later, we're still not getting this done. It's not that I, I keep on wanting to say prominent, but that's the wrong word. But kind of like it's yeah. not that pronounced like that deeply. Or <laughs> <laughs> what's the word for that? Um, okay, anyway, yeah, well, we're I'm gonna look back at this and be like, it's that word. The next word is weich I. Okay, so the second word, I, yeah. is like egg. Yeah. Okay. Which is funny that, enough, in Afrikaans, I is onion. No. Really? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, can you say that again, the word? Weich, I. Do you know the word weich? I've heard it many times, but for the life of me, I cannot now think what it means. 
Does it literally mean something with an egg? No. Okay, nothing at all. Okay. It's not a rotten egg. No. No. All right, I'm giving you a hint. It describes like how a person is. Is it someone like that's a smart aleck? Like someone who thinks no, no, they no. know everything? Mm -mm. Okay. Kein klugscheißer. <laughs> That's what that would say, you know? Someone knows it all better. I uh, know it all, yeah. It describe how someone is. Yeah, like... A personality trait or a no, characteristic. Like, my, sometimes just in a situation. Someone who's very vi wise? <laughs> wise? No. Mm -mm. no. You don't know I it. don't know Okay, it. I'm gonna explain it. Someone who is weak, like, he's not going to do this. He's in weich eye because he doesn't want to, you know, talk to this person now. <laughs> What? <laughs> no idea what you just described. My explaining skills. Can you translate it to Afrikaans? Let's see. No connection. <laughs> Ach, of course. It's basically someone that is like weak or not able to do something because he's afraid to do something. You know, for example. He's a coward. Maybe. It's very like kind of mean to say that. To Wimp. Someone. Well, Wimp, yeah, that is that's better word probably. Wimp. So what's in Afrikaans? The. 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 Yeah. Uh -uh. <laughs> that's not it. The. It well, would be someone who is. I think there's probably a word for it, but. Yeah. The actual word coward in Afrikaans would be lafart. Maybe it's the same. It's just Google Translate. We could use another. Yeah. Again, Google Translate is not yeah. the best no. ever. Don't especially... use that for your schoolwork. <laughs> I use Deeple. Yeah, Deeple. I wish those was sponsored by them because they're amazing. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is unpaid sponsoring right now. <laughs> Next word is Zitzfleisch. Well, that first word sounds awful. Zit is just a pimple. Zitz. Yeah, and I weiß. Oh, in Afrikaans? <laughs> no, Zit is um, pimple. It's another word for pimple in oh, English. I didn't know that. <laughs> Zitzfleisch. Mm -hmm. Is it the second word Fleisch? Yeah. Which is meat? Yeah. Is it spelled like Fleisch? Yes, it's spelled like that. And it's one word? Yes. That's Fleisch. That's Fleisch. Does it literally mean something with meat? No. <laughs> so it's not at all something with that? No. Well, a little bit. I've never in my life heard this. With word. your own flesh, kind of. Um, what is Zitz? Or I'm gonna give you Zitzen as a verb. A verb as in a doing word, you mean? Yeah, like... So I can sit and like... He sits. Okay, he like, sits, okay. Like, sits and er sitzt. So... Is, is, is that when your legs are asleep? <laughs> no. Why am I think it would be that? Sitzen, do you not... You don't know what sitzen? Is that when like, you're sitting? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I know that. Like, when okay. you're sitting. Okay, yeah. I do not know what the word means. So, Alright, so it basically means... Like having the ability to sit for a long time. <laughs> Why would there be one word for that? I don't know, it's just German. <laughs> so use it in a sentence, please. For example, I could say you don't have any Sitzfleisch. Because you're in a conference and you have to be like, get up the whole time. And then people would be like, oh, you don't have any Sitzfleisch. That's so funny. You know? Oh, Let me see if That's so cool. Sedentary. Is that a word? Sedentary. No, mm -mm. no. Sedentary is like when you're just sitting. <laughs> yeah, you like can... you can't move, basically. Yeah. Well, there is a whole article describing this word. <laughs> that's fly. <laughs> okay, next word is lebensmüde. Goodness. Okay, the second word is tired. Yes. Okay, and the first word lebens. 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 Mm -hmm. Like life. Mm -hmm. So life tired. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Um, That's what it means. Like the translation. literal yes. translation. Is it like you're so tired of your life? <laughs> no, no, I'm just joking. Uh, is that when you're extremely tired? No. Does it have to do something with tired? No. <laughs> it's a pretty paradox meaning. You know, like, um, it, it says tired, but it's actually not tired. It's the opposite. Is it when you're having so much energy for life? <laughs> no, also not quite. Maybe I can think of a hint. It describes a person again. Like how a person can be in maybe a situation or in general also. Can you think of one word describing this in English? Yeah, crazy. <laughs> but um, then I'm already telling you. Adrenaline junkie. It basically means if someone is completely crazy doing something that can even be dangerous. 
but also for like if you go sky diving for example which i did twice <laughs> people would say you're lebensmüde very interesting okay little opposite me you're also lebensmüde <laughs> you go skydiving <laughs> the whole time <laughs> yeah <laughs> roller coasters and things why did i struggle to say that word roller, roller coaster roller coaster it's like fort lauderdale <laughs> Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Cannot say that. Good. Fort Lauderdale. <laughs> Wait, you Fort say Lauderdale. Fort Fine. Lauderdale. There, yeah. I said it good. Okay. Because it's so American slangish. What's another thing? Literally. literally. I need to, like, literally. say each syllable. I cannot just say literally. Literally. Because then everything Can I just. Say literally. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Literally. Then it just sounds <laughs> like I'm like. You say literally. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally, literally. Little. Little. <laughs> little, <laughs> little. So the last one is. It's a very funny one. Code mode. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Code mode. Okay, can you say it very slowly? Code. Code mode. I have no idea what that is. How does that even already sound to you? Like code mode. Like it sounds like a tongue adjective. twister yeah. or like something that's like you know funny. So protect that to a situation. Um. Not protect. <laughs> I was like <laughs> Pro protect. <laughs> can you be like oh das ist so eine Kuddel muddel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you describe something. A, situa a situation or like... Or even like the situation of a room, for example. Oh, oh, is it like a pigsty or like something what is... is pigsty? Oh, pigsty is like when something is very messy and like it's just complete yes. chaos. Yes, Is that... Yeah, that's where you can use it. <laughs> like our room that okay. you can't see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it describes like an unstructured mess. Okay. Like chaos. That's like, such for a example, funny word. Your room is such a good word. That is so cool. Do you have another word that you can think of by yourself like to give to me? Affig. I love that word. <laughs> oh, can you say it again? This is so affig. Affig. Does it describe a positive or negative situation? Not negative, but ridiculous. Oh. This is so affig. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> if something looks even like already silly to you, how can I describe a fish? Like, Google it. something is ridiculous to you, and then you say, oh, that's so a fish. For example, people are acting weird to you. Yeah. And you say, oh, they're acting so a fish. Oh. You know? Like, and I know, but also, I also don't know. Also, let me, <laughs> let me tell you, a fish, like, comes from a and Yeah, which makes sense, yeah. And, a, and an ape is, like, also. A like... monkey. And <laughs> monkeys, they're like, they can act silly, right? Yeah. <laughs> monkey. <laughs> Well, that's oh my goodness, yeah, ridiculous, ridiculous, ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like a synonym for ridiculous yeah. or like. So basically, you know. that's what it means. So, Do you have another one? What does uh, ich könnte einen Besen fressen mean? <laughs> I could eat a broom. A broom. Mm -hmm. Oh, but what does that mean? You tell me. You're so mad that you could eat a broom. No. <laughs> um, you're so hungry that you could eat a broom. No. Or you say like, Dara fress ich Besen. If this is gonna happen, I'm gonna eat a broom. Oh, you know? it's like, you, if this happens and you're like done, then you're so over it you or would, mad or like... It's just like, you never think that this will happen. For example, someone tells you, I will win in the lottery. And then you're like, if that happens, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat a broom. So in English, you would say, when pigs fly. Okay, yeah. Yeah.